I can't believe we already have such incredible Mario Kart 8 Deluxe custom tracks. We just got the Tool Track Studio to make our own courses, and modders have already started to take the game to its absolute limits. Today, I'll be playing the Star and Leaf Cups of Sitbar CT Pack, a distribution of these custom tracks. And if you want to catch these episodes live while I'm recording them, then make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash gameblock underscore. With that out of the way, let's just roll the intro and get started. Hello everyone, it's Jacob with the Game Block. Today we are playing more of Sitbar CT Pack. This is episode 3, and today we are playing the Star and Leaf Cups. And I am super excited to play these tracks. I have no idea what we have in store, but based on the last episode, I can only hope that these will be just as good. So, let's-a go. Also, if you haven't seen any of the other episodes in the series, let me just quickly explain how this works. We play the tracks one cup at a time. So first, we of course play them in a Grand Prix. Then we explore them in time trials, and finally, we rank all the tracks in the cup and move on to the next one. That's pretty much all there is to it, so hopefully that keeps you all from being confused later on in the video. Now with that out of the way, let's move on to the first race. So, first up, we have Canyon Run by Sitbar. This one actually looks really good, so I am very excited to play this. This is the person that made the entire track pack, if you didn't know. Visually, this track is already looking really nice. I think this is using some textures from the base game, which makes sense, but a lot of these do look like custom. And the track design as well for this course also is really nice. Design-wise, this feels like a Mario Kart 8 base game track. And we've got a glider section. We don't have any custom music, sadly. This is just the Sunshine Airport music. That's fine. It's a little bit hard to see what comes next because of all these jumps. And there are a lot of blind turns as well, which are kind of hard to navigate. I really do like the way the track plays. It's just it's a little hard to figure out if you haven't played it before like I haven't. Because you really don't know what's coming next. But that was Canyon Run by Sitbar. Overall, I really liked the track. It was really hard to navigate since it was my first time playing, but visually it was pretty good. It was a little bit low poly, but the textures were nice. So now let's move on to the next course. And now we have Creep Sea Cape by BL. This looks pretty interesting. Visually, this reminds me a lot of Dolphin Shoals. Oh, and speaking of, we have the Dolphin Shoals music. Um, that makes sense. This replaces where Dolphin Shoals normally is we once again do not have any custom music which is kind of sad and it's using i think the textures from some of the underground areas of dolphin shoals which is nice we have really heavy water physics in this course right now like everything feels really floaty in the controls overall i'm really liking this course and also is this this is an alternate route oh no i missed it that's pretty cool that that's been added track design wise i really like this course so that was creep sea cape by bl I overall really liked the course from a track design standpoint. It was really good. Visually, it was also pretty good as well. I didn't really like the fact that the whole course was underwater, and I know that's one of the gimmicks of the course, but I feel like if somehow the underwater physics were toned down a little bit, it would have been better because for some of the drops, the controls were so floaty, it just felt like the course went on for a bit too long. But overall i really did like the course so now let's move on and now we have we luigi circuit by willy maker i am very excited to play this i love mario kart Wii tracks and this is already looking beautiful oh we've got custom music we got a luigi statue over there this is sick visually this looks amazing oh and they changed this to a glider section that's perfect i don't care i don't have a mushroom i'm still going for it we've got some hd textures it looks like a lot of these textures were upscaled from their original mario kart wii versions or they're using textures from the base mario kart 8 game it seems to be a mix between the two and i'm just loving the way this looks it looks like they're using some of the toad's turnpike signs over on the sides of the course in some places this is just an amazing usage of the original course model combined with mario kart 8 assets this is scaled really well too i am loving this track port this is looking better than the mario kart 8 deluxe booster course pass if we're being honest props to you willy maker this was an amazing course i loved it 
visually great it was scaled really well so it played nicely overall just a really solid track now we have 3ds rock rock mountain by both willy maker and rymia the person behind cloudy super mario bros u and cloudy super mario bros u2 overall i'm really liking this already visually it looks great it's using great textures once again it's obviously using the 3ds model but it's also incorporating mario kart 8 assets which is great it's scaled really well too i really like the lighting on this course same with luigi circuit i forgot to mention that for that the lighting on these courses are very good oh and we got the boulders from n64 choco mountain and this is an anti-gravity section that's perfect. And sadly, we don't have any custom music. This is just the standard Mount Wario music. Oh, and there's a sick little cut right there that you can do with the trick. I did not do it properly because I didn't have a mushroom, but that's still pretty nice. The upscale textures are looking pretty good as well. They aren't looking amazing because they're still 3DS textures, but they're pretty darn good for upscaling. And that was 3DS Rock Rock Mountain by both Rymia and Willy Maker. I really enjoyed that course, I have to say. It was a lot of fun. I really liked the scaling of it. It just felt really good to drive. Lighting was great. So now let's move on to time trials to explore these courses and then we're going to rank them. And we have some floating signs over here. I just realized these are completely floating. There's not like a post holding them up or anything nope just completely floating but it looks like if we go east we're going to the warioware industrial district from the warioware games that looks sick and also if we go west it's rush city so that's a pretty cool detail yo there's a man ray is that from dolphin shoals i had no idea that was even in the background and these signs look like they're from toad's turnpike those are nice what's interesting is i'm pretty sure there's a tour variant of this course that they could have ported but i'm really glad that they decided to just completely overhaul the 3ds version of this course so now we are going to rank all the courses in the star cup starting with last place going into first place and sadly last place has to go to creepsy cape by bl i really did enjoy the course it was actually a really well designed course i loved the overall track design the scaling was great the water physics made the entire track feel really floaty and it made it just feel a little bit tedious to play overall if the gameplay of a course isn't amazing then that really takes the entire course down a fair notch but then in third place we have canyon run by sitbar Visually, the track looked really good. Track design-wise, it was just really nice. It had some nice turns. The only problem I have is that there are so many blind jumps and blind turns that if you've never played the course before, it's really difficult to map it out. Then in second place, our runner-up is Wii Luigi Circuit by Willy Maker. I absolutely loved this course. It was so much fun. It used the Mario Kart Wii model, but somehow it managed to make it look pretty much like a Mario Kart 8 model with the textures and the lighting. The lighting was done so well in this course. It really made the course model pop. And I also love how some of the Mario Kart 8 base game assets were used. And then in our first place spot for the Star Cup, we have 3DS Rock Rock Mountain by both Willy Maker and Rymia. I absolutely loved this course. It has all of the praise I gave Luigi Circuit in addition to the course itself just is a lot more fun to drive. Luigi Circuit was originally designed as an intro course just to introduce you to Mario Kart Wii's physics, while Rock Rock Mountain is much later on in Mario Kart 7, so it just overall feels like a much more finished track. It has much more excitement to it, and that makes it overall so much more fun to play, and that concludes our ranking. So, now let's move on to the Leaf Cup and the courses there. And you know what has better lighting than every single one of those custom tracks? That subscribe button! I mean, just look at it glistening! Seriously though, only a very small percentage of you all are subscribed to the channel. And I really don't see why not, it's a win-win. You guys get updated whenever I upload a new video for you all to watch, and it supports the channel for me. So, why not just drop a sub to the channel? It's absolutely free, and like I said, it's a win-win. Thanks for supporting the channel, and now, let's get on to the Leaf Cup. 
So, first up, we have GCN Waluigi Stadium by Cassini Lugi, and I am very excited to play this course. He's the person that made the SNES Kuba Beach 2 from the last episode that I loved so much. Visually, it was just impeccable, and I can't wait to see what he's done with this course. And it looks like these piranha plants aren't moving, which is an interesting choice. It's probably just because it's really hard to apply movement to things that aren't already set to have animations. I forgot to mention we have the custom music as well, which sounds great. It's what you'd expect from a Waluigi Stadium port. It scaled well, it does the track justice, it uses base game assets to replace some of the Mario Kart Double Dash assets. Overall, it's just, it's a solid port, but it's nothing too spectacular. Also, the skybox, I feel like, is an interesting choice for the track because it has like a sunset. I feel like a nighttime skybox would work better for Waluigi Stadium. So that was Waluigi Stadium by Cassini Lugi. It was a pretty good port of Waluigi Stadium. I do wish the skybox was like a nighttime skybox rather than the sunset one that was chosen. I feel like it would fit better for the theme of the track. It's a really nice course. It just doesn't really do anything too special. So now let's move on to the next track. And now we have DKR. Walrus Cove by Squadaloo. This looks really good. This is obviously from Diddy Kong Racing. Wow, this is a really nice course. And I'm pretty sure this is this has to be custom modeled. I'm pretty sure the last Diddy Kong Racing game was on the N64. So this has to be custom modeled because this looks way, way too nice for it to be an N64 model. Visually, I am loving this course, that corkscrew that was there is so much fun to play. We've got the GCN Sherbert Land music playing, and I've never actually played Diddy Kong Racing, so I don't know really what to compare this course to, but it seems to be scaled really well. I really like the length of it. Visually, again, this is insanely good. I'm pretty sure Squadaloo, if I'm not mistaken, makes a lot of Mario Kart Wii custom tracks as well. This is incredibly well done. Overall, this is just really satisfying to play. So that was DKR Walrus Cove by Squadaloo. That was a very good course. It played super well. It visually, it looked so good. Like this looks like it could be a Mario Kart 8 base game track. Overall, it just looks amazing. I love the custom modeling. Everything about this course was just done extremely well. I have zero complaints. And I guess let's just move on to the next course now. And now we have N64 Bowser's Castle by Lalo Snooky. And we have the custom music. I really like this Bowser's Castle remix. I think this is actually a remix of Bowser in the Dark World from uh, Super Mario 64. Oh, and instead of the sideways swamp, they've got a moving Goomba. It's a moving Goomba. Textures look really nice now that they've been upscaled as well. It's definitely scaled a bit too big. Oh. I really like this instead of the bridge that was in the original. That's a nice choice. But yeah, this feels like it's definitely scaled a bit too big because this is a long course. It's using the mini map from the base game course, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's not too bad. That moving Goomba just cracks me. Oh no! The Goomba died! No! Not the Goomba! Rest in peace your Goomba. You will always be remembered. Overall, this course, um, it plays really nicely, but it's scaled way too big. So that was N64 Bowser's Castle. It was, it was a good course, but it was scaled way too big. I really do like the additions that the modder made with the Goomba for the Sideways Thwomp. Best thing about the course has to be that Goomba. Rest in peace, my dear friend. You will never be forgotten. Goom the Goomba. And now we have Sunset Forest by ZPL. And I know for a fact, for two reasons particularly, that this was a Mario Kart Wii custom track originally, and it's been ported to Mario Kart 8. One. I know this course from Mario Kart Wii custom tracks. I've um, I've seen it before. But two, those mushrooms are Mario Kart Wii mushrooms, 100%. And this course is overall playing really nice. It's very fast paced. I like the boost panels. We got a giant Goomba. It's our Goomba friend. He has been resurrected. So visually, this course looks really good, especially for it originally being a Mario Kart Wii custom track. 
and we don't have any custom music, which is sad. We had the N64 Yoshi Valley music playing, and that was Sunset Forest by ZPL. I really enjoyed that course. Visually, it looked really good for a Mario Kart Wii custom track. My only complaint about it, because it played really well, it was scaled really well, my only complaint is that the mushrooms, it would have just been better if the Mario Kart 8 mushroom asset was used instead of just putting the Mario Kart Wii model and using the same collision as the Mario Kart 8 mushrooms. I don't really understand why those were used unless they were originally part of the course model. Other than that, amazing course, and now let's go into time trials to explore them. We've got the screen from Mario Kart Double Dash as well that just like repeats whatever our camera sees. That is sick. Oh, we can see ourselves looking at the screen. And we can see, oh, it's like infinite screens. I really like how this corkscrew was done. Like how it, this reminds me a lot of DS Rainbow Road because it goes around the track that you end up playing on in a bit. This is just done so well. I feel like this is, I've never played Diddy Gong Racing, but I feel like this is a completely new interpretation of the track. Our Goomba friend is back. Hello, Mr. Goomba. We are reunited. Yeah, the course model itself seems like it's definitely from the original Mario Kart Wii custom track just because there's obviously the Mario Kart Wii mushrooms. So now we are done exploring the Leaf Cup. So now let's rank all four courses, starting with last place, going into first place, and in last place. I'm sorry, I have to say, it's N64 Bowser's Castle by Lalo Snooki. The course itself was scaled way too big, in my opinion. It took around a minute 30 seconds to complete one lap. And another one of the problems that the course being scaled too big has, not only is it too long of a course, but also that makes it too easy, because all the turns are so much wider, they're so much easier to take. Which means that then it just doesn't have very much variety or fun, because there's no challenge. Then in third place, we have GCN Waluigi Stadium by Cassini Lugi. This course was pretty average. It was what you'd expect from a Waluigi Stadium port. It scaled the course really well, and it used some Mario Kart 8 assets in place of Mario Kart Double Dash assets. That's great. I didn't really like that the Piranha Plants weren't moving, and I know it's hard to add animation to things that don't have animations in the base game but I feel like it would have been nice to have that extra effort added. The main thing that's holding it back is that it really just didn't change anything from the original course. Then in second place, we have Sunset Forest by ZPL. I absolutely loved this course. This was so much fun to drive. The course itself, ZPL, you did a great job with it. It scaled really well. I really like what you did with the course porting it from Mario Kart Wii. I do wish that the mushrooms were from Mario Kart 8, they weren't the Mario Kart Wii model, but overall it was a lot of fun to play, and visually it was really good too. It seems like the model was definitely enhanced at the very least from the Mario Kart Wii version, just because it looked amazing in Mario Kart 8's engine. And that of course means our first place spot goes to DKR Walrus Cove by Squadaloo. Wow, this course just looked amazingly good. It looked like it could be a base game Mario Kart 8 track. I love the innovations from the original. I've never played the original, but it's clear that there were definitely innovations made because a lot of these mechanics are things that appeared only in Mario Kart 8, like the anti-gravity with the corkscrew, and it worked phenomenally. I absolutely loved the way the course played. Visually, it was amazing. The custom modeling was so good. And overall, the course just screams perfection. And that's pretty much all I have to say about the courses for today. And that's the ending of the ranking and the video. So if you liked the video, make sure to drop a like down below. And if you want to see some of the future episodes of this series, then why don't you sub so you get notified whenever I come out with them. And speaking of these future episodes, if you want to catch them live as I'm recording them, then drop by on twitch.tv slash gameblock underscore. I record all these episodes live so you can get a little bit of early access, so then you don't have to wait for the YouTube video to come out. So, that's pretty much all there is for this video. Like, sub, follow on the Twitch, and I'm Jacob with the Game Block, signing off.